Hi guys, I'm back with a, another video. Hopefully this one will be quick. This is just a, I'm putting these layouts away or I'm attempting to. You can see here that I have uh, some notes on some of the layouts, but I am trying to put these layouts away and I'm doing a layout share because I haven't shared these layouts, duh. <laughs> So here's my first one for June. This one is called Read All the Adventures. And I'm doing June and July together. Sorry. Um, I didn't do quite that many, so I'm just going to go ahead and share them both together. And then I'm going to do August last because I'm on the 29th, but I haven't... I still have one more video to upload, and I want to do th that layout share that month's layout share when that video goes live so that there are no surprises. So this one just needs the journaling. I'm gonna write like this and then when I come across this line I might go this way. I'm still not sure but I know I'm writing a, um, the journaling. Last night I stayed up and I deviated from what I was supposed to be doing and I ended up doing this instead because this was getting on my nerves. I'm gonna have to glue this down because I was using double stick tape to put down my stuff but this is using Simple Stories and the Chamel collection. Um, mostly Chamel and then some Simple Stories. That's what I should say. Alright, then this one I unfortunately didn't, my my video got corrupted or something but uh, this is my mind's eye and then this I don't know and then that's American Crafts uh, die cuts with a view. This is the crepe paper cute girl collection the paper and then I used a uh, border punch to punch out the the vellum I wish this would have been a process video I really like the way this came out this isn't even for me this is going to my knees and I'm really glad I was able to use this little wood veneer of a bee but then I also found I didn't think I was gonna have any and I found some in an Easter sticker set so I have bees uh, not all over the place, but there are a few that I found, so I was really help happy for that. And then I also used a uh, sequin mix that my friend Crafty Maggie sent me, so I was really happy to use that as well. So that's my second um, layout for June. The third one, this one needs journaling, and it's of my husband and my son. This is using the photo play. Uh, paper pack. Uh, I can't remember what it is called. I think it's called Family Ties or something like that. Uh, but I I think the wood grain even, yep, that's the wood grain. It's the cut apart sheet. And um, and all of this is from Photoplay except for this. This is from, oh and these circles. Those are Heidi Swap, the circles, and then this is from We Are Memory Keepers. Everything else is from Photoplay. Oh, and that's from Heidi Swap as well. So this was really fun to make. I cut out the half circles. I'm not sure if I have a video for this one, and I did use some of that um, little B washi tape. And maybe I should have backed it, but I still like the touch that it gave, and it goes really well with this line. So that was that one. And I want my husband to put some journaling on it, so I'm going to ask him when he comes home. Uh, so that was that layout. This next one, this next layout was just this traveler's notebook, and I used the same photograph because I had printed it twice accidentally. No, not accidentally. This one cropped out a lot of the photograph and so I printed another so that the full photograph would come out. Uh, this is using Simple Stories. I used the Hobby Lobby uh, paper line and then some Pink Paisley embellishments. And then these letter stickers that say BU are from a Walmart sticker packet. This is from We Are Memory Keepers and then these uh, letters are from Simple Stories. And I really like all the layers on this. That's uh, some Heidi, no, that is some Dear Lizzie. That's the Heidi Swamp date stamp. Uh, Simple Stories. I don't remember. This is a roller date stamp, but I can't recall. Maybe Amy Tangerine. So anyway, oh, and Hobby Lobby heart stickers. So that's that one. 
I'm going to set this one aside because I have another one for July. This one is Rowan and Dad. And I didn't put any... Um, I have a, a note here that I need to put on the date somewhere because I don't have it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to include the date. So if anybody has suggestions, if I haven't put it on there yet, I might just put it on the back. And then if anybody has suggestions, I'll go back and do it. I actually did some stamping in this video and my friend... Crafty Maggie also sent me a stamp and I used the back side of it to make a solid stamp uh, because the other side was kind of like a sunburst effect from the middle of the flower out. And then this is also using photo play, but this is another uh, paper pack. I can't recall which one it is right now, but um, I did use some paper strips to frame it and I used a border punch to kind of give it brighten up the paper and to make a photo, photo make a photo focused layout in the middle because it's mostly picture but I think that I like the white repeating element so that it kind of focuses more on the photograph I liked all the embellishments these are from fancy pants the, the red stickers the glitter stickers are from Heidi Swap and uh, the pins are from My Mind's Eye and the bows are from Peachy Peachy Cheek, I want to say. Oh my gosh, I'm so blanking out. It's Tuesday Hubbard's line. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tuesday. I forgot the name. Peachy Cheeky Studio. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot it. Okay, so that's where those bows are from. And those are by way of Megan. So I really have been enjoying the things that she sent me. And um, yes, I still need to send her her package. <laughs> and I feel so bad. But she knows and she understands my situation. And so she is, uh, she told me no worries. Um, yeah, I added a lot of these banners. I like that they say different things um, and this was my favorite the best thing in life to hold on to is each other and so I really like this picture the next page is a double page layout and oh this is the beginning of July so in July I started participating with um, I'm sorry, with Becky Bidding, and she does this series called Mini Kit Monday, and so these, this was my first one, and I ended up like, I don't know, she doesn't put any pressure on the group, which is awesome. She says that whatever we're inspired to do is great, and um, so I'm really grateful for that. So I did this two-page layout, and it has one, two, three, four, five photos. I don't know that it's a lot, but I like playing with the paper, and I had a lot of fun. I, um cut out oh you're not gonna be able to tell because I backed them because they had the clouds were here it had clouds on this grid paper these clouds but it also had a plane and the plane I didn't want the motif because we didn't ride a plane and we didn't go on a plane ride and we didn't travel anywhere so for me I still wanted the clouds so I cut them out and I put them uh, I set the paper this way and then I added more pattern papers to make up for the fact that these both of those grid papers had holes in them. And I used um, Echo Park and the Great Vacation Sack from Die Cuts with a View. This is a glit sticker. Uh, this is also from Echo Park uh, but from different lines. This is different lines from Echo Park. This is some, um, I don't know, I can't remember simple stories and this is uh, from I have a I have the pink paisley and so that's my double page layout and that was my first share ever for mini kit Monday the next one I'm gonna put that there the next one is finished I get to put this in this album this is the next share I did for mini kit Monday I already did the date and the journaling this tag was uh, sent to me by Caitlin Clary from gray florals because I won a, a little tiny giveaway and she included a few extras and I was really um, happy about that so I did use a tag and I used some washi tape this is from the great vacation stack and all of this stuff was pulled out with the exception of these 
uh, fireman stickers I pulled those out afterwards even this one the, the glossy ones so oh and the wood veneer too I pulled out so any everything else was from the mini kit Monday that I had done so this next one is sweet moment and I added a whole bunch of embellishments from Simple Stories, this glitz sticker, and a lot of other embellishments from Simple Stories. I think I just said that twice. Uh, these little puffy stickers are from Pink Paisley, and I think this is Amy Tangerine, the white foam stickers. And I did use some wood veneer and some Heidi Swap chipboard. Oh, I can't recall where these come from. So I'm just not going to say. I used a little bit of paint and also a little bit of um, Nuvo drops that my, scent, that my friend Maggie sent me. <laughs> this one is fun at 14,115 feet. And it's also having to do with that trip to Pikes Peak. Um, and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I have the date on here, so that's really what matters. And since this is going in the family album, I didn't feel like I needed to put more journaling on here. Um, the ones that I've shown you beforehand, some of them have journaling already. And they're just pictures of us at the mountain. So the, the double page layout is the one that explains the story mostly. So I'll probably put these behind that double page or one of these then the double page and then another one behind it. I hope that made sense. And then this last one needs the date, but it is, no, it is not the last one. This is the first one I should have shown you. But um, anyway, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm all over the place. But this was a crafty date with, uh, Meg, with Daisy and Maggie, and we were supposed to get inspiration from Sue's Fish and I think I had a lot of fun with this. Um, and there was a lot of mixed media done. I'm still not too sure about how I feel about the mixed media, but I'm not so, it doesn't seem so daunting to me anymore. So that's a good thing. Um, I like the colors and I added some white dots that you can't see because it's white on white, but I did add shimmer. And you can't see it because I think it's too dark. I don't know. I try. To work with these um, lights but lately they just give me a lot of um, headaches <laughs> I don't know I tore something up right here so I'm gonna have to glue that piece of little paper down right there but that's that one and then the last one that I um, was gonna show was this one this was another crafty date and I did use Chamel's line and then I did use this Fancy Pants Word and these Glossy Stars. Um, a Butterfly Punch from Martha Stewart. It has those two. And then Simple Stories stickers that I colored in black. A Heidi Swap stencil. Which, if you, d if you haven't seen the video or if you're new to my channel, I made a big mistake with the stenciling or screen printing because that's what it is but I tried to fix it and I think I did a pretty good job painting in this gold so if you'd like to check out the video it's in the crafty dates playlist um, and that's it you guys those are my layouts for June and July tune in for the next August layout share or for my next video thanks so much for watching bye